Alright, I wanted to make a video on this for a long time because it's a very important part of this game that I don't think a lot of people really understand, uh, or at least don't appreciate. So I want to talk about armor, um, and I know most people just want to see the huge numbers when they shoot their guns, but you know you do zero DPS when you're dead, so just uh, remember that. And especially when you're trying to solo something, like MSK or Frost Knight, um, when you die, your run is over. So, you always see me using Bomb Squad Kyle in my loadouts, and also running a Constructor with um, base in the 160s, and that is because of armor. Um, I'll go over um, the Constructor base in my next video, since I don't want this video to be too long, and I just want to focus on armor for now. I mean, you know, armor, it's a huge reason how people are able to actually solo things like MSK and Frost Knight. Like we're either using armor heroes um, or holding an armor baron or both. Um, like, you know, my um, solo Final Frost with a ninja video, <laughs> I'm actually using both Bomb Squad Kyle and Prehistoric Iza in my loadout. Um, and I'm holding an armor baron <laughs> so that I don't get randomly one-shot by a taker or a smasher. Like, even a zapper on wave 20 can almost one-shot you if you're not careful. Okay, so the way armor works is there's an equation to convert this number here to a percentage of damage reduction that you take. Um, and that's all damage that you take. So from enemies, from storm ticks, from MSK's lava, um, and even fall damage, like you saw in the intro clip. Like, <laughs> this castle is something like 10 tiles high, I think. Um, and I survived because I was holding this triple armor baron. Um, all right, so the equation uh, to get the damage reduction is um, the armor divided by 100 plus that armor value. So in this case, it would be 40 divided by 140, which equals about 29%. And you can see that here on your stat sheet. Right, you see damage resistance, 29%. Um, and uh, that equation is um, not linear, meaning the more armor that you have, the less percent reduction you get. Uh, so it's similar to how crit rating and percentage chance to crit uh, work. So, you know, let's say, for example, we have um, this armor baron here, which is two armor, or 80 armor, right? Two armor perks. So if I equip that one, now my damage reduction should be 80 divided by 180, which equals about 44%. And if you look at the stat sheet, see 44%. And then now if I go from the double armor baron to the triple armor baron, so I go from 80 armor to 120 armor, right? Whoops. Um, and then I look at the stat sheet. I go from... Uh, 44% damage resistance to only 54%. So you see the more armor that you have, the less percentage um, damage reduction you get. Um, and you can think of uh, the damage reduction as making every point of health and shield that you have uh, worth more, right? So not only is it increasing your pool of current health and shields, um, but it's also affecting any healing or shields that you gain. Like, you know, think of it as um, you have a heal pad that heals you for a thousand HP. Well, then husks would actually need to do um, 2,222 normal damage to you to take off that a thousand HP um, if you're holding a triple armor baron. Um, and, you know, likewise, this, this same concept applies to your shield regen. So as your shields regen, well, every point of that shield is worth more when you have armor on. Because the husks will have to do that much more damage to you to take off those points of shield or health. Okay, so there are two main armor heroes, right? There's Bomb Squad Kyle and um, Prehistoric Iza. Um, and I prefer Bomb Squad Kyle because his armor applies all the time to both your health and your shields, uh, whereas Prehistoric Iza only applies her armor when you have no shields. Like, if you have even just one point of shield, uh, you're going to take the full amount of damage from a hit, since her armor perk won't even apply to that hit. 
Um, like, it doesn't prorate the damage based on how much shield you have. You know, like, take an example, you have 100 points of shield, and a husk is going to hit you for 1,000 damage. Um, it's not going to take off the 100 shield and then apply her armor perk to the other 900 damage. Um, you're going to end up taking the full 1,000 damage hit. Um, so, you know, you can still get one shot with Iza on your loadout if you have even just a little bit of shield. Um, and we can see this in a little experiment. So, um, with Bomb Squad Kyle in my loadout, let's calculate um, how much effective damage I would need to take uh, to die. So we can just um, add his health, right, 465044, four, four, um, plus his shield, uh, which is, you know, 178,293. Um, that comes out to 643,337. Um, that's the total of the health and shield. And then let's um, divide that by uh, 0 0.82, which is the 82% um, damage that you take after his 18% damage reduction. Um, and that comes out to um, 784,557 um, effective health, right? That's like the amount of damage you would need to take to die. Um, and if we switch that to Isa, the equation for her is this. Um, and that is if we take uh, just the health and apply her armor to it, her armor comes out to be 24.8% um, damage reduction, right? So if we take just the health um, and apply the 75.2% um, damage reduction, uh, your effective health comes out to 616,722. And then we just add in the shield um, as it is, unmitigated, because um, you know her armor doesn't apply to shield. That comes out to a total of 796,558, right? Uh, effective like damage that you would need to take to die. Um, if her armor applied to our health when we had some shield. So you can see that with Iza, it's higher than with um, Bomb Squad Kyle. But let's go into, um, well, here, let me switch this back. And let's go into MSK and eat his laser to the face and see what happens. Okay, so see, I'm using Bomb Squad Kyle on my loadout. Right, so see how I lived through that? Alright, now let's do this with Prehistoric Isa. So you see how I've got Isa. Yeah, it just instantly kills me. Okay, so you saw there that Isa's armor um, did not apply at all. Uh, otherwise, I would have survived that hit that I was able to survive with Bomb Squad Kyle, right? Because if, if it had worked, then I would have had a higher effective life total than um, with a Bomb Squad Kyle. But obviously, um, Iza is amazing uh, when you're using Blast from the Past because you have no shield ever. Um, but if you're not using Blast from the Past, you should probably be using Bomb Squad Kyle.
Okay, so I think that pretty much covers um, how armor works. Um, and in my next video, I'll go over the constructor base. Um, but, you know, this, I just wanted to talk about how armor worked because this is a huge reason why um, the constructor base is so good, right? Like the effective health of your tier three builds with base Kyle in the lead, um, plus your constructor base giving your builds armor, yeah, it's just insane compared to a normal tier three build, um, right? You will see that in the next video. Okay, so yeah, if you guys like this content and want to support the channel, uh, please use code Diggy in the item shop. I would really appreciate it. Um, and thank you to everyone who has used it. Um, I'll leave a link to my Discord in the description and also pin it in the top comment. Um, that's the best way to get a hold of me if you have any questions. Um, and also, there's a ton of really good Save the World players, uh, probably the best Save the World players, um, on that Discord. So, yeah, join it up. All right, I will catch you guys later. Peace.